With a professional boxing record of 13 wins and two losses, Sacramento native Blake, the Beast McKernan, believes he's finally healthy enough to get back into the ring. I had my biggest fight about three years ago on the Mike Tyson card, and I blew out my shoulder. Now that I'm finally healthy, I'm getting back after my career. Before boxing, McKernan spent time in the U.S. Army, serving in Iraq and Afghanistan. But before that, he was a troubled teenager that needed positive direction. For me, boxing is really what saved my life. You know, background story, I started my career in this gym when I was 10 years old. Nasser was the very first boxing coach I ever had. Long story short, I grew up, you know, very poor, poverty, didn't have neither one of my parents present, so I was always getting in fights and suspended from school for getting picked on. And uh, my mom brought me over here one day when I was 10 years old, dropped me off with Nasser, and I've known ever since that this was my purpose. From a familiar name to a new name in local boxing, Herman Hodnett, who was born in Sacramento, but raised in Oroville, stands six foot nine inches tall, weighs 280 pounds, has an 87 inch wingspan, and plans to use his Butte College basketball skills to help him during his pro boxing debut at 32 years old. In basketball, back in the day, they used to have set offenses. So then they came with the read and react. So my mindset in boxing is just read and react. And you never know what a person's going to bring to the table until you really truly in there with him. So read it and react, you know. Herman, who grew up in the foster care system, wants to use boxing to help kids who are currently in the foster care system. Give back something, you know. That's, that's what a lot of this started from was people gave to me and then wanting to give back to uh, youth and foster kids and people in that situation. No, 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 Another local no, pro no. boxer that is using his sport to give back is Anthony Hernandez. He owns a boxing academy in Marysville and grew up in nearby Live Oak. If I can show these kids like a little hard work and they can accomplish their dreams. A lot of them, a lot of my, a lot of the kids that I have in the, the gym right now that are amateur fighters, you know, their goal is to turn pro. What am I to stop them? I, I know Nasser, a great promoter, you know what I mean, local, okay? I, I have that in. If you're really serious about it, let's work towards it. Let's make your dreams come true. And for Anthony, his dream is to also earn a championship belt one day. I've been in this for 11 years now, pro for seven years. I've been fighting top names, hard, hard fights, but I think I'm, think I'm ready. I think I'm, I'm right around that level. I, I need it. Uh, that's, I feel like if I get that little small title, I'm set. I can retire, I can let just focus on my gym. In Roseville, Del Rogers, KCRA 3 Sports. Some great stories there. The showdown in Sacktown boxing card is coming up August 3rd. It's at the Double Tree Hotel in Sacramento and the doors open at six. There are seven pro boxing matches scheduled for the night.